High prices are also taking a toll on spending for Valentine's Day. A survey from Wallet Hub found that 46 percent of Americans, almost half, say that inflation is affecting their plans. Our Leslie Gooden tells us what that looks like for businesses that need this holiday to go well. Valentine's Day is just a few hours away, and this is a florist shop that we're talking to, and they say it's like their Super Bowl. And just like ad rates and ticket sales, they say it's getting even more expensive for them too this year. Every year it's always more. It never goes down, it only goes up. And then we also have the cost of vases, like vases are higher, they're more limited. LaDon took over the family business 12 years ago. She says the costs both she and her customers pay are the highest she has seen. Ever since COVID, it's just been more and more expensive. A lot of farms shut down, a lot of wholesalers shut down, so it's like just less supply, there's still demand. Now, according to the National Retail Federation, consumers are expected to spend an average of $185 on Valentine's Day alone which is nearly $8 more than the average spending over the last five years. And the wholesalers have to work so much harder, so much overtime, so it just brings the cost of even a single stem up by like anywhere from a dollar to $5 more than usual. And we obviously have to then charge our customer more. Now customers like Meg say, despite the increase, she's still finding joy in the holiday shopping. This what are we more. shopping for, Frezzy? What did we just get? And who are they for? Da -da! But she's still keeping the price of what she spends in mind. The flowers aren't marked in there, but it, it does seem pricey for a small bouquet. This was $30. I'm going to show them the flowers. They're very beautiful, though. And you have been running nonstop. Yes, it is that kind of day. Today, tomorrow. I guess this whole week has been that way because we start prepping a week in advance. Um, but it's fun. It's flowers oh. and lovely people, so it's pretty fun. And in just one shift, they have already created 200 arrangements and they are expected to have more tomorrow. So if you haven't gotten your flowers yet, you still have time, but you better get here early.